Hey, this is Brett. Um, I had something I ran into tonight while I was setting up uh, for imaging on my mount. I wanted to uh, post a video and share it because I'm, I'm sure someone else ran into it themselves or may not be aware of it. But what the problem is, is I got this uh, uh, cross-aim uh, reticle eyepiece. It was back like 50 or $60 eyepiece or something. I, I wasn't too. It was pretty inexpensive. It's not the best. Uh, it works well, but I mean, it's about what I would have expected for what I paid for it. And I use this for uh, alignments and uh, drift aligning and stuff like that. And it's a uh, 12 and a half millimeter focal length. And I usually use it with a Barlow lens when I do my drift alignments. But what I noticed tonight, actually, when I was drift aligning it, or even nice before, I noticed I would. Uh, spend time drift aligning, and I wasn't quite getting the results I was uh, thinking I should get. Uh, I'd be kind of chasing myself and just wasn't working out. And then I got to noticing tonight, I actually happened to grab it while I had my eye up to it. And when you go to focus the reticle inside, it's got to be threaded up. Oh, maybe it's that much, you know, you can thread the whole top piece up in here and that focuses the reticle uh, to your eye. And what I notice is when it's threaded up in the focus position there's a little bit of slop on the threads. You can't really see it you know in the video right here but there is play there like if you hold your eye up to it and wiggle this around the star will move probably probably the width of the box in the middle. I mean pretty severely and you know, I hypothesize this would be uh, the cause of maybe some problems when I drift the line because if I go to put my eye up to it and hit it, you know, I might bump it, bump the position of the star, and then, you know, be reporting that I had some drift when I may have not or had, you know, too much drift or something like that. Just wouldn't get any precise readings from it. So, what I did tonight actually uh, is when I drift the line, I made sure I kind of worked it into place there and I didn't touch it with my eye. I kind of stood off just a little bit uh, with my eyes to not disturb it and then drift along like that and I noticed an immediate improvement in the results. You know, I'd let it drift for five minutes, make an adjustment, come back, it was a little better, you know, just way better results uh, drift aligning. So I got to thinking, well man, um, you know, maybe I need to get a better eyepiece or something that's a little more precise. And I thought, well, there's got to be some way to fix this, stick it in there. And you've probably already kind of thought of what it might be. You know, a spring would work really awesome in there, uh, make tension on there. So what I did, went into the garage in my bolt bin, bolt bucket and everything, and I found a spring. And this is about half of it here. It was too, a little bit too tall of a spring and had lot of tension on it so I went ahead and just took the cutters and cut about half of it off that made it where it compressed where it would fit into that gap uh, real easily and you know the tension is not too much on it so what I did try to prop my phone up here to record this so I threaded the uh, Top piece, the reticles inside of there. This is the eye lens. Stuck that on there. Takes a little second here to And you can see it just it just tightens it up perfect. Puts a little bit of pressure on that as to not let it move. You know, you're not going to disturb it with your eye. When you go to do your alignment stuff like that, uh, so this should really be a good fix. And I'm glad I did it. So what I'm going to end up doing is just pretty much set the focus on the reticle and leave it. Uh, that way I don't have to mess with it. But I would figure I would... Uh, share that uh if i'm sure there's a lot of people out here that have these little more inexpensive reticle eye pieces and may have ran into this issue or may have not even realized it but that's an easy fix for it you know you can find a spring at the hardware store just make sure it clears those 
threads in there and it'll work great all right signing off hope hope somebody finds this helpful i thought i would share all right take it easy